Hello everyone, my name is Emerson and this is the Cloud Knowledge Chips channel. My main goal is to share my cloud knowledge with you. So, if you are working or would like to work with cloud technology, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification icon to receive alerts about my new videos. If you'd like to know more about me or my cloud journey, below is my LinkedIn, feel free to send me a message, it will be my pleasure to help you do your cloud journey. Let's go to the content! Hello guys, today we're going to talk about custom models on Azure AI Document Intelligence. I'm using the Document Intelligence Studio to present you how we can use the custom uh, models. And today we're going to focus on custom extraction model. So here when you click on create, you're going to see some videos that are going to explain a little bit more about what is Azure custom extraction model. Just take a look on these videos and see how they works and also here uh, you can create your project when you hit create a project you need to specify the name so I'm gonna name my project custom extraction user one uh, I will leave the description as empty and then I'll go to continue so I need to select the uh, my subscription on when I have the Azure document intelligence resource I'm gonna use, I need to select the resource group and my resource as well. Then you can select different API versions for that specific model. So you, you see here that we have the 3.1 is general availability, but we have a new ones that it is in preview. So you can, it's up to you to test that. I click on continue. Now we need to select here which storage account we are going to use to train our model. So let's select the research group. I'm going to select this one. Also the storage account and then the blob container. What I'm going to do here, I'm use, I have used this same blob container to train the custom classification model. And then I'm going to create a specific folder on the same blob container for this custom extraction model. Let's create a new one. Custom model. Let's hit continue. Then you can check all the information and then create project. Okay, so here again we have a session, a specific session where we can create our fields, we can run the layout, we can auto label the documents. So the first thing that we need to do is upload our documents that we need to train. Let's get back from the document template from Microsoft. Let's upload some release contracts. I will select these two first contracts. Let's get more. Three. Okay. <clears throat> you can zoom it a little bit so you can check document. You can see what kind of information do you have. This one is pretty much, it's pretty straightforward. We have like uh, the field names on the left side and then we have the values on the right side. So it's straightforward. This one is more like, uh, I would say a real contract because we have, we have some field names as well, but it's not, it's not like a table. And the third one, we have some checks, we have um, a lot of information about the contract as well. So this is more like a real contract for me. So, okay, um, let's run the layout. Run the layout is gonna to get all the tags available on that specific one. It's going to mark some specific fields like this one is, is a table, so you can see the table as well. And then you can click on auto label. For this one, you can just click on auto label, but when you click on auto label, you need to select which kind of pre-built model you're gonna use. So that specific pre-built models that we have available from Microsoft, like the document, invoice, receipt, tax, or health insurance card, you can use that pre-built models to auto label your documents as well. If you want like that, what you can do is 
let's say that we need to extract the type of the contract or the name of the contract and then we will extract the uh, name of the landlord and also the name of the tenant so what can i do is i can create some fields here we have different types of fields tax field selection mark signature and table i use field and then i will say landlord okay so when i select the landlord i can come here i can select the landlord value and then i can flag it as a landlord then i will create another field is a text field and then i will say tenant name let's create another one it's a contract name okay so let's get the rent agreement as a contract name and then go to the tenant and select as a tenant name okay it's good for this document let's go to the second one let's zoom it a little bit okay before we, we select the text and label that specific text as a field we need to run the layout so the document uh, intelligence will extract all the text and then you are able to select your field and mark your field so this one is the landlord this is the tenant name and let me Redential lazy is the contract name okay so the second one we are good to let's go to the third one again run the layout and then we can select the text and uh, say hey ai this is the text this is the fields that i would like to extract from this type of documents this is the landlord this is the tenant okay all right so we have the three documents we have selected all the fields that we want in the different the three different type of documents and then we can hit train we will need to name our training so let's name it as um lazy contract 001 let's leave the description as empty and here you can select between neural and template what is the difference between them is when you have uh, documents with a specific template so you have one template you can use your template and then you can train the, uh, the machine learning using that specific template on this one you when as you can see we don't have a specific template the three documents is pretty much different from each other so we are going to use neural to train our, our model and then to get all the information that we need let's hit train then uh, we have created a new model we can check the model the model is not started now it's running it's gonna take some minutes so i'm gonna fast forward and then we can see the results after uh, the model is completed now that our model is trained then we can see here that we have training succeed so now we can test and then we can see if our model is good or we need to train it even more we need to uh, upload more documents and improve the training let's select one of the files that we have here is another contract it's not the contract that we have used to train the model so now we can open the document it's a rental agreement and then we can run the analysis it's going to extract all the content and also try to match that specific fields that we have selected before so let's check that here we have contract name rental agreement it's right 100 percent is 56 percent of confidence then we have um, tenant name 96 percent almost 100 percent this one 96 percent as well so 
You see, we can just get custom documents. We can select which kind of information we would like to extract from, from that document. And then we can train our models. After that, we can just use our models, call our API, and then we can extract that uh, same information in the different documents. This is the result. So we got all the information about the document as well. And then we have the fields, the field session, when we can see here. Let me open it a little bit so we can check. Contract name, tenant name, and landlord. So we have a special fields on the JSON file. And then we can see all the fields that we have selected and the confidence and the value as well. Okay, if you'd like to use this model, if you'd like to create your application, you'd like to uh, input some code in an application to use this specific model, this custom model that we have created, you can just click here, select what kind of language we'd like to use, and uh, you can start using this code. You don't need to start from the scratch. You have all the code here. You can make your adjustments to the code and then you can apply it to your application. You can copy or you can download the code as well. So everything that you need will be here. Um, also, we have settings. So here in SACS, we can change our project settings. So if you'd like to change your Azure document intelligence research that I have created another one on Azure portal, you can just change to the endpoint and specify the endpoint and key as well. Also, you can change the folder path. So if you have created another folder path from other files, and then would like to train your models based on that specific folder path on your blog container, you can change the folder path here. So guys, this is what I have for the custom extraction model. If you have any questions, if you'd like to see something else, please leave a comment. I'll try to bring more information about that for you. See you in the next video.